Mangler, my beloved, how you've been taken from me. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of weight to that sentence for the uh, five whole people who still care and play this game. However, why not go into a little bit more depth? Season 4 is here, and Ranked is now such a delightful priority of the Halo Infinite experience. I'm sure that revisiting the old grounds will be a welcome addition to the discussion. Now, I'm sure I don't need to explain what the Mangler was. It was a very dynamic hand cannon styled sidearm that had the ability to shot tap opponents. A shot to the body and a tap with the blades. However, with range, and arguably in some up close situations, it was still outpowered by the sidekick. When it came to playstyle, the Mangler solved a key issue that past Halo games had, melee trades. When you picked up a Mangler, you told the enemy team that you had two kitchen knives, and by golly they do a lot more puncturing than that their fists that they have. It's actually reminiscent of the Halo 3 Mauler, which had a similar function, but one that only worked right up close. And in a game where range was king, that function left the gun with not a lot of ability to progress in the sandbox. The Mangler was a perfected version of this previous weapon, replacing the bullet spread for a singular slug-fired round. Was this powerful? Yes. Was this overpowered? No. You could take people off guard by flanking. I mean, it, it's basically a hand cannon shotgun thing, but that didn't mean you were immortal. If the team had good coordination and communication, they could easily outgun you. The Mangler had a slow firing speed, and you couldn't just melee tap everyone. You need to work on stealth to pull something like that off. And then you were just working with backslaps, which were instant kills anyway. According to a theory proposed by Ascend Hyperion, the Mangler was designed to be part of a trifecta of shotgun weapons in the infinite sandbox. I see enough evidence on the game design to take that at a face value. The proposed theory is that the heat wave address spread, the bulldog range, and the Mangler damage fall off. Or essentially, the Mangler was the one you used up close. This leads into why the Mangler lacked the stomping power that most people seem to think it had. Damage fall off means it requires skill to aim long distances. The arcing requires a different kind of aiming than the hit scan of the BR, thus why ranked players use the drop mechanic to completely avoid getting headshots with the Mangler by instant dropping it and firing with the BR for an easier hit scan headshot. Now I'm going to preface this by saying, I've reached Platinum 1. <sighs> yeah, it's not really a good thing to admit on the internet. I think I can explain why people enjoy Ranked, or at least why I do. It's faster. The games move at a brilliant speed and you have to think on your feet. But I do know that's not why everyone does. <laughs> The numbers going up, I'm sure, means a lot for some people. My favorite thing to do in rank is just to screw with ranked players, because boy oh boy do they take this game way too seriously. They're quite literally calculators. If a player goes from position A, they'll go to position B, etc, etc. Yeah. I have to counter by going to position or duels. It, it's not a system that's focused on... Uh, being stupid or creative, it's a system that's focused on an almost chess-like mentality, which works for chess, but this isn't chess. When ranked, you're playing into two halves. Learn the rules. 50% of the time, you will use them. The other 50%, don't. Be random. RNG is what ranked players hate the most, after all. So be the RNG you want to see in the world. BR is the golden weapon of the ranked player. Now for me to elaborate a little bit more, I will need to explain Halo's weapon system, Pyramid of Power. Halo games start you off with stock and expect you to pick up situational and or power weapons to gain the advantage in the fight. 
The idea that previous Halo games and quick play especially go for is that you gain more power with moving across the map and gaining equipment, power-ups, and weapons. Not really the winning play in ranked. In most cases, the BR is king. It is complemented by a power weapon to speed up a kill, or equipment or power up to boost lifespan. Ranked plays so differently from standard quick play, it's almost a new game. Now with that background, I will now explain why I believe ranked players are a coddled and protected class in Infinite. Now throughout this video, you may have assumed the Mangler just got a debuff. It was not the case. All weapons in Infinite got a 10% melee debuff, and were stat adjusted according to 343's desires. I'll accept the BR, but only in ranked matches. In fact, there are now two BRs in the game, the ranked BR and the normal BR. If you try to queue up for a uh, custom game, yeah, that's the word for it, you can actually select one weapon and the other, and you can see the differences. Why, you may inquire? Well, that's because there's a combo used by ranked players, a two-shot and melee tap. Sound familiar? That's because that's the same way the Mangler was changed, to two shots and a tap. No longer function based, but definitely based off the, um, most overhyped gun in the game. Now, the current status. For Season 2, 343 nerfed all melee damage by 10%, I mentioned before. This brought weapons like the Commando and AR down as well, however not the Sidekick, which makes sense when you realize it's a favorite of the ranked players. The Mangler was reduced to a two shot and a tap. As a result, there's no real reason to pick it up, unless you do some fancy drop kick with it and use a BR combo, there's nothing special. And on top of that, they changed the ammo from 16 to 24, with a max change of 54 to 40. Of course, there was no reason to do this, because the melee nerf ceased any chance of this weapon being viable to begin with. However, if you haven't finished those challenges in the uh, training arena, good luck now. As for the issues that this solved, 343 promised in the update that melee trades would now start up again, thus making the mangler's original tactic quite pointless. And now, uh, pancake. And, um, if you shoot them and then tap them, you can, uh, then instant kill them with a grenade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it still does the two tap BR combo that ranked players complained about. That's still in the game. Uh, great. So, what would I propose as a solution? Well, I have heard people in rank suggest that the sidekick replace the mangler on the drop pad since it's more skill based and balanced. In reality, it's just hit scan like the BR and negates the melee damage combo the mangler could pull off, but uh, if the solution doesn't involve me with a nerfed gun, then fine. Now for this whole video, I've been very positive about combos, so why would the double tap drop BR headshot be bad? <sighs> Let me take a breath. Well, it all burns down to ranked players mostly using controllers and to bind dropping a weapon becoming tricky due to the limited amount of buttons on the controller. To do the button combo efficiently, you would want to buy a controller with buttons on the bottom to pull it off. Otherwise, you would be sacrificing one of your, uh, proper word for it, essentially one of your needed buttons to tie the drop button key to it. I really don't understand why this is the case, because there's an achievement in the game for dropping the weapon, but you have to bind the drop key yourself. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't see why 343 decided that that was the way we were going to do this. Thus enters the topic of accessibility and paywalls to be good at this game. Not really. Accessibility is for people who have actual disabilities. This is just a complaint about how it's harder to pull off a combo with a standard controller. It's not impossible, it's just harder. You can do it. 
This isn't an issue on PC, by the way, just controllers, and uh, apparently that's how all ranked games are played based off the people who play ranked. I do not know. Apparently it's uh, what you would use in a competition, I guess. 343 encouraged this play style from the start. Dropped this achievement, so I don't understand the problem. I, I still don't understand the problem. <laughs> Difficulty provides a challenge. And if everything remains the same as everything else, just aim and movement, that's not really a challenge, it's a button clicker. Diversity in combat is what made Halo the powerhouse that was yesterday. VR mindset of today is incredibly boring. All this should tell you that the ranked players don't show the same experience as the average player. If your eyes haven't glazed over by this long explanation, I applaud you because mine certainly did. Balance isn't just stat changes in numbers, this ain't destiny. You can balance weapons in a way that doesn't involve them being the same as all the other weapons in your sandbox. Furthermore, just because you're good at a game doesn't make you a good game designer. LDR, give me my fun gun back please, it didn't hurt anyone, and the only real complaints were from new players who didn't know how to use map sense, and ranked players who are stuck in Halo 2. So, uh, yeah. While you're watching the blooper that my friend insisted I put in the uh, video, um, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to hear more. Yeah. Way with you now. I walk back, it's fine. I wasn't expecting that to hit, let it be known. Um. I hope you were recording for that. <laughs>